Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been a policeman for about 10 years, but I've been with North Las Vegas coming up on three years. In fact, my partner and I, we've been teamed up for about five months together now to cover the Adam district. And uh, we were hired at the same time, in fact, too. So uh, we know each other pretty well, and I think we work together real well. Wayne's a hard worker, and he likes to get after it, and that's excellent. We both work somewhat of the same style. Dwayne has, uh, he's a little older, he's a little more mature, a little more slowed down to the point where he knows how to, to work this, the, the game a little bit better than me. I'm still, uh, at times, a little too eager to go out and go after things. But as we've worked together, we, we really kind of have started already to pick up on what the other person's going to do if this happens or if that happens. And we work well together and we enjoy working with each other, which makes it real nice. This guy right here on the fence? Yeah. Or right the there. guy in the tank top? No, nope, guy right here on the fence with the beer. What's up, man? Come here. Well, first, you're contacting cars. Second, you're drinking in public. Come here. Come on, man. I was talking to them. Don't go nowhere, dude. Come on, man. We're done. Put it down. We're done. Put it down. Put it down. Get out of your pocket! Get out of your pocket! Quit resisting! Hey, we... Lay down! Lay down! Come on now. I'm gonna tell you one last hey, time. Quit it. resisting and roll over. Roll, on your, roll on your belly. Roll on your belly. Roll on your belly. Roll on your belly. Joe. What? what did I do? Now you're under arrest. I was just talking to them though. All you I gotta just came do from the funeral. All you, all you gotta do is step up to the man, car. I don't believe this dude. All you gotta do is step up to the car. <laughs> What are you carrying? What are you packing? Nothing. Nothing. Then why are you reaching for the pockets? Good enough for me. Boom, baby. Ain't doing nothing. Get up. On the sidewalk, I'll start writing tickets. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Don't lean on the car. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Uh, lots of baggies of probably cocaine. Lots of baggies. You're a low life dope dealer. I wasn't no dope dealer, man. Is it just for you? No dope. Is it just for you? Yeah. What are you registered for, Terrell? What? What are you registered convicted person for? Carrying guns. Carrying guns. Your chariot awaits you. You are under arrest, like I told you when you were on the ground. Can I get my charm off your car? Where is it at? the car. It's what? My charm from to my necklace. Is where? On top of that car. Okay, everything in there will go with you. Let's get out of here. So? Oh, it's not that I... Gosh. Wayne, it's Friday night. You just took the party man away. Yes, I did. We did. We just took the party man away. They're hot. Control 3-3, moving 10-8, entry 450 Sam. 
All we had to do was try to control him. We didn't have to, you know, yeah, we didn't nobody to had to take him. any blows. He didn't have to hit us. We didn't hit him, stuff like that. We just had to get control. And he's got a lot there, don't he? Yes, he does. Okay, well, we, did, we just got a call of a, a person that's either uh, mentally disturbed or high on uh, some type of narcotic. He's out on a street corner firing rounds into the air. Where's and they got him right up here. Okay. okay, they got him right up here then. There he is. Hold on. You crawl on your hands and knees, right, Toss? Crawl, Dodge. Come on, dude. You can do it. Crawl to me. No, get on your hands and knees and crawl. Come on. Now crawl to me. Okay, go. Come on. Come on. Grab him, I got him. Don't move, don't, don't move. move. Don't move, don't, don't, don't move. Don't move, don't move, don't, don't, move. don't move. move. Give me an arm, give me your arm. Nice and easy, give me an arm. We got him. Blood, 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 blood. Okay. Blood, blood, blood. Yeah. 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 No good. Where's the gun at? No gun. Roll to your side, bud, roll to your side. Did you have a gun earlier? No, I ain't had no gun, never had no gun. Who's doing the shoot? Them, them other dudes down there. What happened to your head? They had jumped me, all jumped on me. Who jumped on you? They all jumped down, mother dudes. I don't know. Roll this way. I never mess with nobody. Yeah, we got more than one set of pants, too. Okay, let's take these down. OK. I'm going to see if anybody, any of these kids got anything about guns. Dude, what are you doing with this in your pants? That's something I was holding on for my friend. Are you holding that for your friend? Yeah. We got anything yet? No. We got one. So one now, now he's turning from a suspect into a victim. Is that what we're looking at so far? So far, yeah. So there far. Was, we, we do have one neighbor that, that confirms there was one guy. We do have shooting. Yeah. OK. Up by the corner, up by the orange car up the street, there's a pool of blood where it looks like they threw him out of a car. I wonder if they were popping at him or letting him know. They might have been. You just go with them, get checked out, then you go on your way. We're not going to fight you. Come on, there you go. See? Have a seat. Just have a seat. Have a seat up there. That's all you got to do. Step on up. Come on, step up. What? Just get in the ambulance. Come on. Step on up. Just on the bed. Wait a minute, man. What? Tell me. What, what bud? Tell me. I don't like no ambulance, man. Well? What? What's what? wrong with the ambulance? I don't like no ambulance. Your ride's good. It's cool. What you got? Why you think we're no, trying to go in my pocket, no, man? No, 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 no. no. Pat me on the back. Go to the hospital, let's get it over with. It'll be quick. They'll check your head. If you're OK, they're going to check your head. Your wallet's in your pocket. Come on, your wallet's in your pocket. Good man. Put the wallet in your, in your second, second pair of pants, pants, not the black ones. These the blue ones. Right, the blue they're ones in, the blue in your back ones. pocket. In the back, the back pocket of the blue ones. Damn, I had these many pants? Yeah, you had that many pants on. He's having a bad trip. Our major concern was was to get him help, not to get him to the jail. So hopefully he'll go to the hospital and get the help he needs so we don't have to come back out. Spent uh, 11 years here in Las Vegas, and this is a place like no other I could imagine to be. 24-hour town, tremendous amount of, of diversity everywhere you go. You see everything from, from lost children to the, the worst homicide scenes you can imagine. What that radio is going to bring to us in the next five minutes, we don't know. That's the part of, of police work that's, that's so appealing to me. Hi, Mary. Five. Mary, can you get We've got a, uh, an interesting kind of investigation. There's a company that deals in high-tech video or news coverage, and someone has contacted them trying to sell them a $60,000 piece of equipment for uh, $4,000. So they got suspicious of it, naturally. So we're going to go down and talk to them and see what they got. called a uh, digital beta cam uh, machine. So we called some rental houses and some friends that we knew. And it's a very small group around the West. And they all called each other. And it came back 
that it's owned out of San Francisco. It was rented to a company in Burbank who rented it to GES here in Las Vegas, and it was stolen at the show. And Let me get a couple basics from you. First, the guy of all. was driving this license plate. That's the name he said he was, and it was on a. a I'm going to hire you as detective. It was on a Jimmy. Actually, that was Liz. That was Liz and Robbie. Oh, uh, I'm going to deputize you, Liz. My name's Sergeant Sutton. I'm with Las Vegas Police Department. I need to get some information about this uh, item that was stolen from you. Uh, we're, we're in the video rental business where we rent video equipment to customers. Okay. Our client call, called us in a panic because they never received it. it. It never made it from the loading dock to their booth. Well, we're going to try and get to the bottom of it and see if we can uh, take somebody to jail. I can't tell you how much I appreciate the sound of those words. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Sergeant Sutton. Okay, we're going to uh, go on up to the address that comes back to the license plate number from the uh, guy that came into the uh, broadcast studio to sell this item. Officer Kinch saw the uh, suspect vehicle in the driveway, the car that he used to uh, drop the item off at the at the establishment earlier and we're going to go make contact with this guy since good chance he's home motion sensor Hey, Hi. How you doing, Jeff? How you doing? Good. Are you uh, Raymond? Uh huh. Uh, why don't you come outside and need to talk to you for a minute? Okay. Yeah, you know you're what's this? Okay, Raymond, listen, listen up. I'm Sergeant Sutton. I'm from Las Vegas Police Department. It's Officer Kinch. Uh -huh. Were you driving this earlier today? Um. Yeah, my. Yeah, it's my truck. Here's the situation. Did you go into a uh, into a uh, studio place and try and sell a, an item to them? Not sure I'm familiar with. What, uh, what am I, item would that be, sir? Uh, some type of big old thing in a case, a uh, uh, beta cam deck. No. You didn't? Mm -hmm. All right, li listen up, listen okay. up. The last thing that you want to do is lie to me. It was given to me, yeah. Who I gave it? Just, huh? Who gave it to you? It was just an exhibitor on the floor. Big? Yeah, just for helping them with their freight. I'm, I'm like in charge of the freight uh, docks. And do you think that you can uh, come up with a guy's name that gave this item to you? I think I'm going to have to. I think I you're going to have to, too. You know, to verify okay. the story. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand okay. your rights? Yes, sir. The reason I'm giving you your rights now is because we're going to have to take you to jail. Can I get some shoes on, please? No, uh, I'm going to ask your wife to bring your shoes out for you. OK, and I'll ask her to come out so you can explain things to her. OK. All right? Uh, yeah. What's your wife's name? Terry. Raymond. Your uh, husband is under arrest, okay. because that uh, thing that he that he uh, tried to sell today was stolen. Okay. So would you go get him a pair of shoes? We're trying to keep the kids from, you know, freaking out or anything. I got my son's already Okay. Go, go get him a shoes. Get him his shoes and his wallet. Okay. Better than going out and robbing the bank, right? Absolutely. So I mean, why not just take the equipment since nobody knows whose it is? Well, the, the owner will be reunited with the machine later. Oh. So it was stolen then? I mean, he turned it in and it's stolen. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much How much is this? Because uh, being left on the floor, <clears throat> I mean, it was took from the floor. OK. But there was no there was no way of telling whose it was. So what happens is it goes back to the warehouse and sometimes uh, drink it's lost it. in the shop. Drink up. Hey, babe. Tennis shoe. She's on down the road. All right, he'll be able to call you in a little bit. I don't know what that means. I'm in Grand Theft. What that means is it's a uh, one to six felony. Yeah, it's 
very big deal. Very well, bottom line here is people are going to get their property back, and he who's been trusted with hundreds of thousands of dollars of other people's property working for an exposition service uh, has demonstrated that he's not trustworthy enough to handle that responsibility. But once again, who's going to suffer besides him is going to be that wife and kids that are sitting in that house right now. More than one person I went to high school with, and it's just my job to do. I mean, it's nothing personal against them. Um, it's just what happened. They did something wrong. They had to go to jail. I mean, you deal with somebody who maybe you're arriving as a second unit, and they're giving the first officer problems. You come up, hey, I went to high school with you. And they calm down, yeah, I know you. Then you find out what's going on. They relax a little bit, brings the tension down, and kind of helps you get safer a little bit. Bring the perimeter back to Dolly, not one block west. Bring it back. OK, uh, two units are out on two suspects. One of them took off running. Uh, they got one at gunpoint now. The other one they lost in the area of this trailer park. Usually what happens when somebody runs from us, as soon as they get out of sight, they drop down and hide. That happens more times than not. We set up a perimeter on usually the major intersections. We're going to get out and go have a look around. Okay, Don and Tim take the first door and cover as long as they go in. Cover as long Got it. Go in, go in. Where's Tim at? All right, that's one. And this other open door. Don't do the closed door yet. Right. Do the open room. He's still in here, right? Chris is right over there. Is that brush clear for it's sure? What? Chris is right over there. That's where we stopped the car, right over there. Oh. Where'd he hurl the wall at? Right there. Is there any way he could have backed over the wall in that brush? Did you check the brush real good? I checked it. What hey, about Tim, over there? You want to spray that brush over there? Unit at Marianne and Carrie. Did he make it across the wall? No, we think he's in here. All right. Thank you. One unit at Dolly. He might have got over the wall. He might have got over the wall. One unit at Dolly and Owen. Right. 21, can you take that? Is there a kid in there or is there somebody in there? Get out, let me see your hands! Get out of here! Get your hands up! 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 Get Right here. Turn him over. 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 Turn him they shoot all over, Josh. Is it wet? It's kind of hard. Jump down. Thank you. I'm going to step here to broadcast the car. I'm going to have to be channel here to broadcast it. I'm going to run from the police. Me and my, no. <sighs> OK. That's the guy that the officers were, were chasing earlier. One of the uh, when, citizens saw they heard somebody run upstairs. All right, turns out he dumped, jumped inside these oleander bushes yeah, he's, he's and was hiding down here. We're still looking for a knife. I saw this. I saw this blazer coming out through the desert area going northbound from Judson. And he was hauling, man. It was obvious that he, he saw me and was trying to get away. 
so I went code through the three through the desert. They got out behind this uh, house over here. This apartment complex? Right, and ditched. The driver ditched, the passenger stayed in, Chris stayed with the passenger, and I went after the driver, and he ran out over this apartment complex wall, bailed over there, I went after him, and the kids that were in the backyard said he went southbound. Which he did. Which he did. What are you felling for? I had a felon up from Southern California, and I was in a gang out there. Came back to Vegas, trying to clean my act up right now. Well, obviously, that didn't work. And you're a very poor liar, too. What gang? In the Empire. Hey, you see, I got some bad stuff on my left arm. But her, that just tells me you ain't got no heart. No, it just tells me that I want to get out of it. What's your street name? What's your street name? Dumbo. Uh, that fits. He had it in a, he had it in some kind of a holster. If this is, well, I'm pretty sure this is what he had. What I saw looked like a like a brown sheath of some kind. At first, it looked like a knife, but now that I see this here, there's no doubt that that's what it was. It was some kind of a holster. I had two clips this big. I don't want to talk to you no God. more. Summer is here. Everybody's running now, especially in this heat. Not a good thing for us. Well, that's what makes it fun. We got him in custody, got the gun in custody. Everybody goes to jail. Yeah, it was a pretty good caper. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code three. Thanks, Ted. Get a 2514 10 transmit on tech two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.